So, meanwhile, we have Evil Lynn being sent to infiltrate the Forbidden Mountains. And she comes across, perhaps, either the weakest or the second weakest link in Maleficent's arsenal. I'm not sure if he ranks above or below Abba Small. The point being that Pete is still considered fairly much a weak link in Maleficent's uh, crew, and yet he's managing to take out one of the top-ranked warriors of Skeletor's faction, which kind of says a lot for the benefits of working for Maleficent and what you can become. And Evil Lynn loses. Mindbender in the Baroness design a chameleon suit for Zartan, so he can take on the appearance of anyone he chooses. Meanwhile, we have uh, Xanatos and Kane sending out Red and Shigo. Where's Red? Come on, show up. It looks stupid if I talk about him and he's not there. There he is. Um, yeah, Red, I, I have this feeling you can make anyone look awesome by giving them a face-obscuring visor. You know, it's kind of the, uh, the Halo principle. And so this fight was initially made because... Uh, Everyone was saying that Shio versus Baroness would be a really cool fight. And you know, as a heterosexual woman, that's pretty hot. And, uh, you know, everyone was loving the hotness of it. Red, I, I hear he's an anti hero. I, I've yet to know. I, I kind of want to get to know him. He looks really cool. Um, I don't know. Kind of the only thing I can think about him right now is him teaming up with. Vanitas and Rensler to form Daft Punk. Helmet joke. But oh no! It turns out that the Baroness was Zartan all along. Oh, all our, all our crushes were really misdirected. Ew. And here's Amanda Mula. We have, we have a joke about Amanda Mula amongst this community. Oh, by the way, Huntsman and Mosenrath giving him orders together. That's even shippier. Um... <laughs> I, I do like it. I do like him in He makes me smile. Um, we had this joke. I don't know how it got started, but we were like talking about how the entire fight, uh, the entire tournament was going to end with Aminda Mula fighting Unicron and winning. And so we kind of just kept on with making him this really powerful, like, making him out to be so much more powerful than he actually is. And also he has a little gauntlet section there, because he's wearing the gauntlet and working for a master who wears gauntlet. And uh, he actually was awesome enough to whip all of Valmont's henchmen, so we had to call in actual Shendu to take him out, and he got away with his life. This upcoming bit, uh, Manwoo and I actually did uh, voices for, he's Skeletor, and I'm Maleficent. Although my voice is a little bit pitched down, his is a little bit pitched up. Uh, I'm not, I'm not Susan Blakesley, I'm not Eleanor Oddly. I was just honored to even try my hand at Maleficent. I added the echo effect just to kind of make it sound better, and man, woo, his ear troll is spot on, he's spot on! Although, there's actually a part in part two that he does a lot better. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. Who dares to trespass in Spot on, I tell you. And that's my I'm that's sure me. I don't know what you're talking about. Despite your meager protestations, your witch did attempt to infiltrate my castle. I see that it does not happen again. If you wish to I've actually been voice acting a lot lately. I'm gonna be in three <laughs> upcoming tournaments. Oh, I think not. Or tournament rounds. Excuse me. The big real passion was but a test, you see. An old friend of yours supplied me with all the details I needed to annihilate your castle. Milady, do join us. <gasps> so that's where she's been for the past who knows how many rounds. Old lady to remain here to suffer at the hands of your enemies. She was understandably enraged. You shall both regret this insult. Can Susan Blakesley slash Eleanor Oddly turn on herself? 
Uh, anyways, fuels the Maleficent versus Skeletor rivalry all the more. And like I said, there is going to be a bit in the second half of this round where Manwoo does a voice that's even more scarily accurate than Skeletor. Let's just go there now. <laughs> 